All right, let's get uh, our Android project set up for Firebase. Right? Uh, first thing that we're actually going to do is, is download some starting code. So this has the UI for the Movie Quotes app. Uh, this is nothing that, that you haven't done before. Uh, you know, it's it's going to have menus, dialogues, a, an adapter, all the kind of things that, that that we've been using for the last month in uh, in the in the course. Uh, the only thing that is new here is that we have this uh, this text watcher um, on our our dialogue uh, that that calls update every time that you type a single character, right? So um, it'll update even before you hit the OK button. All right, but go ahead and get that zip downloaded and um, and then you can go ahead and, and put this uh, put this in your project, right? So download this, stick it in the right place, and I'll catch you in a second. Uh, download it, unzip it, uh, and then we'll navigate there using using um, using our stuff. Okay, so I downloaded mine uh, into into a place where I know where it is, and I can say uh, go ahead and, and open it up, uh, and I, I know where that is. Like I said. So I put mine in my recording folder here. Uh, you can go ahead and navigate to, to yours. Uh, we'll click OK and have it open up. All right, and we may need to, um, you may need to do some, some updates. Uh, so if you look in here, um, it has a certain build tools version, uh, which may not be the most recent one uh, that, that we have. Um, so you can try to try to run this guy and see how it does. And if it complains about things, um, then, then just go ahead and up, update it right here. So it says right here that my build tools is, is out of date. Uh, no doubt by the time you do this, uh, it'll even be more out of date. They change so quickly. Um, so, so just go ahead and change it, right? So 23.0.2 it says is the right one. Um, and then click the sync button if you need to. Uh, and it should build uh, and that should be fine. So if you click run, uh, you shouldn't get any quotes because we're not connected to the, to the back end here. But if you hit plus, you know, it should bring up a little dialogue here to, to enter in a, a, a quote. Um, type what you want. Um, so quote, and then title. And it, it'll show up here. And if I do a, a, a short press, um, I can edit it. And if I do a long press, then it will delete. Okay. Uh, again, no surprises in, in the actual code uh, that you need to do to do that. All right, so we have a, a, a model object right here. We have an adapter um, that, that actually is, is gonna have the view holder and all the things that you'd expect from a recycler adapter. There's some to-dos in here as far as where we're gonna put our, our movie quote stuff uh, to connect to Firebase. And then our main activity, again, no, no, no surprises as far as what, what you have here, um, except for possibly, like I said, the, the, uh, the text watcher here um, is new. It has an, an after text change, and this is when we're telling our adapter to do an update of the current movie quote with the quote in the movie um, that are currently being typed. Okay. Uh, so that's that's all we have there. So let's let's go ahead and actually start start making this into into Firebase uh, into Firebase code. Right. So the first thing is is that we're going to need to um, change some things here in our our build.gradle. Right. So we need to um, go ahead and, and connect to the the Firebase library. And then there is something um, with the with the build tools version. Um, we're gonna have to set up some packaging uh, options for this to work. Okay. Uh, so go ahead and do that right now. Um, feel free to just stick these right into your into your build.gradle. So here I'm back here and stuck uh, stick the packaging options in, and then the Firebase um, version itself. So we will compile. Um, and this guy right here is going to be com dot firebase uh, colon firebase and I think it's firebase hyphen android client. Uh, I'll, I'll check that. I got it here. So firebase uh, firebase clan client android all the way around. Uh, and then we need our version number here, which is is uh, two three one. I think is is what they're using two dot three dot one. And if you want it so that it doesn't have to, um, you don't have to manually update in the future, you can put in the plus here. Um, not necessarily uh, rec recommended, you, you could leave it off. And then if they update things, then it, it will give you a, a warning and you can update it manually like we did before. Um, kind of up to you, which, which you choose right now. Shouldn't, shouldn't be a trouble. They, they don't update the Firebase stuff quite as, as frequently. Okay. 
All right, very good. Next thing is we want to go into the manifest and we want to change, um, we want to give ourselves network permission, uh, so internet permission. So you want to go um, in here outside of your application and start typing uh, the open uh, angle brackets and uses permission, okay, Android name. Uh, and if you start typing in internet, uh, it'll search for the right one. So that's, that's what we want, like that. And we will close off our tag by in another slash and then the, the, the end angle bracket. Uh, and this is here we're basically telling our app that it's going to have to go out to the internet to get things, um, to download some things. So, so in this case, it's going to need to connect to the Firebase, right? Uh, so, so we've done that. Uh, very good. Uh, let's go in and get the slides caught up. Uh, so we've we've done the build.gradle. We've set our internet permission. Uh, the next thing is is that you probably noticed that all of our um, in Firebase we had every um, every model object had a key that went along with it. Um, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to add in a key in ours. And again, we're going to need to keep track of our key uh, so that when it comes time to update, we know which one to update. Or when we go to delete, well, which which one do we need to, to delete? So that's going to be used to identify the, the object on the back end. Uh, so I'm going into my code here, into movie quote, and I'm going to add. So this is also a string, and I'll call it key. And you'll notice that in my model objects, um, I'm not using M here. Uh, it, it comes down to, to you know, uh, when, I, when I create this, the, the getters and setters and everything like that, they just name a lot better. And I, I, there's some debate as far as whether you should do that. Uh, it seems like um, what people have, have decided to, to do sort of as a standard is in the Android UI code, you use M's. Uh, and when you're purely inside a model object, then, then you don't need them. Um, that certainly worked out to be convenient for me. So that's what I'm going to follow. Um, all right, so I want to insert uh, getters and setters. So I'm going to hit Alt Insert, or if you want to go into into the code, um, uh, Insert is somewhere somewhere around here. Um, so Generate uh, Generate Code is is Alt Insert. So I'm going to go back to this guy. So Alt Insert, um, and I'm making a, a getter and setter for um, the key, and it doesn't even give the the option of the other ones because they're already there. So I'll click OK, and that's gonna that's gonna stub in those those two guys right there. Okay. Um, next thing we're going to need to do is to create a Firebase uh, uh, object, right? So where we're going to do this um, is, well, I'm going to put it, you can put it really, really anywhere or anywhere you want, but I'm going to choose to, to put mine inside the, uh, the movie quote adapter because it's the adapter that's going to be doing the communication, right? So the adapter needs to, to manage the array list of movie quotes. Um, and that's what needs to get synced with Firebase. So I'm going to put those um, right there. All right. So uh, make the change right now. All right. So what, what we have is we have a path um, to our Firebase. And you can see that, that this is just basically the, the URL of the forge. Um, and then slash quotes is going to get us into all of our quotes are going to go inside a, a quotes folder. Um, and then I'm going to create a Firebase ref um, from that right there. And I'll set my context. You notice I'm going to need another. Um, I'm going to need to pass in the the context uh, as a parameter to the uh, move quote adapter uh, constructor. All right. So let's let's just go do those things now, and then we'll be pretty much uh, almost almost set with it with this lesson. Um, so um, in my adapter and up here, all right, we'll go ahead and make a uh, so private. Uh, static final string and then this is this is going to be my, my path here so I'll make a constant for that so quotes path um, and this is going to be HTTPS uh, colon slash slash and then your um, oops not up there uh, your URL so your username right here and then movie quotes uh, and that's going to be um, dot firebase uh, IO dot com slash and then the path is quotes okay and sometimes people sp split these out for for bigger apps where we had a, a lot of data in there we could we could split this up into different parts uh no real need to, to, to do it right now um all right then what i'm going to do is i'm going to make uh an instance of of uh my firebase okay so it's going to be a reference right here so i'm just going to call this uh my uh, movie quotes uh ref uh for reference and then in my constructor, I'm going to have to do a couple things. Uh, so let's see, it's it's about Firebase here. So 
Um, let's go ahead and sync my project. It looks like I didn't do that before, so it didn't actually uh, connect to the Firebase. Um, now it's doing that, and it should be much happier uh, once we finish that. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so so it found it in the in the library. Uh, great. Um, so my movie quotes. Oops, my movie uh, quotes ref is going to be a new uh, a new Firebase object. And the Firebase object is going to get uh, the, the path. Okay, so it needs a, a URL as you saw here. So I'm going to pass it in my, my quotes path. And before I use Firebase at all, I need to uh, I need to set the um, the Android context. So Firebase uh, dot set Android context. I need a context, so I need to pass it in here. So uh, context um, context. So I'll add a parameter there. And then just use that here. Um, and of course, now that this is going to complain, so let's go ahead. Uh, be careful when you import this guy uh, because there is a Firebase context, but what we're setting as our Android context actually is uh, the Android context, right? Set Android context. So grab that guy. Uh, and then you're going to have to go probably into your main activity and add a parameter to your um, to your adapter. All right. So let's see. Here's where I made it. So um, Hmm. So I already passed it in as my callback. Now that's interesting. So it's a callback that's going to be used. Uh, the activity. So I could have used that if I really wanted to had I cast it. Uh, but really, I'm passing in the activity in sort of two different ways. I'm passing it in as a callback, and I'm passing it in um, as a uh, as as the the context that I need. All right, uh, decent. Uh, so that that's all of our basic uh, setup that we've needed to do. Uh, so so what else do we got here? Uh, well, we're we're setting up to to come back to our next lesson. Uh, in which case, we're going to start doing the 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 CRUD implementation. And again, um, so uh, creating uh, new movie quotes, and these we're going to push up to the Firebase, and that, that's actually using a, a push method within Firebase. Um, we're going to read them. To do that, we're going to set up event listeners uh, to, to respond to changes from Firebase. Um, and then update is going to use a set value function uh, on, on the Firebase. And then delete, which is going to use a remove, uh, remove uh, value. Okay. So we got lots of exciting stuff coming up. Uh, so please join us back for the next time when we actually push our first stuff up to Firebase. Mm -hmm.